Hello, I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. This is my review for the sixth episode of Star Trek Picard. As always, there are spoilers in these reviews. You have been warned. So starting off with what I didn't like about the episode, I didn't like that Gerardi slept with Captain Rios in order to deal with her emotions of train Brad Maddox. Now, I like the Dr. Gerardi character overall. I like that she's a fish out of water. I like that she's unsure of herself. And I like that even though she was always going to betray Brad Maddox, she wasn't one of those, <laughs> I was against you all along. No, she really felt remorse and regret and pain for having to betray Brad Maddox. Which is why it makes so little sense that she would choose to sleep with another guy in order to, to deal with her feelings. You know, you watching someone that you love die in front of you. They're staring into their eyes as they take their final breaths. I just can't imagine this character hopping into bed in order to deal with those problems. James Bond? Sure. <laughs> but it's not uh, this person. And that's not a man versus a woman. It's just like this character doesn't seem like the type of person that's just frisky whenever she needs to deal with a bad situation. Now on to the positives. Finally, the relationship between Soji and Narek pays off. Yes, if you've been watching my reviews, you know I'm pretty much over that relationship. I just didn't care about it. I knew going into this episode, it will focus on them. And the episode itself was very good. The pacing was good. The electing in the mystery was good. The role map thing was good. But it just took until the sex episode to get to this place. I just feel unsatisfied. So the episode, way to hell it was good, but it's just unsatisfying overall. And it took me a while for me to figure out, but I think this is a problem. Soji is the one that doesn't know she's synthetic when everybody else already knows. It's a mystery that's not a mystery. The audience already knows that she's synthetic. The Roblins know she's synthetic. Picard and his crew know she's synthetic. So she's the only person that doesn't know she's a MacGuffin. So we're all just waiting around, twiddling our thumbs for her to catch up with what everybody else already knows. I suppose if the show started with the mystery, is she real? Is she fake? Is she something else? And you get clues here and there, take you one place or other to find to this ep sixth episode, we get the definitive answer, yes, it's a mystery without a mystery. And think of all the things we could have been doing instead of wasting our time with this so-called mystery. We could have actually developed the relationship between Gerardi and Captain Rios instead of just hopping them into bed together. We could have had Hugh and Picard helping out more Borg, former Borg and, and things like that and developing those uh, type of characters. We could have even gone into the Starfleet officer that is helping with the Romulan conspiracy. Anybody remember her? <laughs> you know? We could have done so many other things instead of wasting time with this romance and watching these lovers play slip and slide while everybody else is trying to actually do things in the story. So as far as my verdict, this episode was good and the payoff was good, but taking your six episodes out of your 10 to get there just wasn't satisfying. It felt like a waste of time, a pleasant waste of time, but a waste of time nonetheless. And therefore I give this episode of Star Trek Picard the meh, it was okay emoji. Okay, thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Be sure to share whatever comments you like in the comment section. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, or dislike, share, and subscribe. Once again, I'm High Heel Knight. Thank you for watching, and remember, find inspiration everywhere.